Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be solving some basic elementary MCQs from Gatia State. Now, most of these questions are real exam questions and are based upon Graham's law of diffusion, Dieter's law of partial pressure, P is equal to N R T. So, once you see the theory and know the basic results, these questions would not be very challenging. We'll be solving the questions one by one. It's recommended that you'll want to read the questions first, look at the options, you'll want to try it of your own, and then check if your solution is right or wrong. We we'll begin with question one, which reads, equal masses of methane and oxygen are kept in a container. The fraction of pressure exerted by oxygen is. Now, this is a very common question. It's a very popular question. Now, naturally, when you have equal masses of methane and oxygen, you can take it to be W gram. Suppose both methane and oxygen are W gram. Number of moles of methane would be weight upon molecular weight. Now molecular weight of methane is 16 and number of moles of oxygen would be equal weight, equal masses. So I'll take it W again and the weight of oxygen, the molecular weight of oxygen is 32. The fraction of pressure exerted by oxygen is certainly its partial pressure or we want this partial pressure of oxygen upon the total pressure. You know the ratio of partial pressure and total pressure is the mole fraction. It's a very basic result of diagnosis of partial pressure. Now partial pressure of oxygen upon total pressure is equal to mole fraction which is represented as XO2. Now, partial pressure of oxygen upon total pressure, which is mole fraction of oxygen. Mole fraction is number of moles of oxygen upon total number of moles. This number of moles of oxygen, this number of moles of oxygen plus number of moles of methane. I repeat, mole fraction is number of moles upon total number of moles. So, it's W by 32 for oxygen upon W by 32 for oxygen and W by 16 for methane. You understand W by 32 is half of W by 16. So if I take it as suppose 1, this will be 1 and this will be 2 times of this. So this will eventually be 1 by 3. This will be eventually 1 by 3. This will be eventually 1 by 3. And the fraction of pressure exerted by oxygen will be one third of the total pressure. The fraction of pressure exerted by oxygen will be one third of the total pressure. Option B will look right. Option B is right. Naturally, option B is right. I repeat, it's a very common question. It has come several times in different engineering medical entrance exams. I hope you can understand this. We'll move to question two. Now, question two again, you'll want to read the question first. The question reads 56 gram nitrogen, 44 gram carbon dioxide, and 32 gram oxygen. That together exert a pressure of 760 millimeter mercury. You have to find the partial pressure of nitrogen. Simple as you can get. Question 2. Number of moles of nitrogen will be weight of nitrogen upon its molecular weight. So 2 moles of nitrogen. Number of moles of carbon dioxide will be weight of carbon dioxide 44 upon its molecular weight which is 44. So you have 1 mole of carbon dioxide, 2 mole of nitrogen and for oxygen the weight being 32 grams weight upon molecular weight you have 1 mole of oxygen. Total number of moles is 2 plus 1 plus 1 which is 4. You have to find the partial pressure of nitrogen. Now partial pressure of nitrogen, partial pressure of nitrogen, you know the formula is total pressure into mole fraction of nitrogen. Now total pressure is given as 760. Total pressure is given as 760 and the mole fraction of nitrogen will be number of moles of nitrogen which is 2 upon total number of moles which is 2 plus 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1 plus 1. I hope you all will understand this. 2 by 4 is 760 into half 
and this will be 380 millimeter of mercury 380 millimeter of mercury which again is option b which again is option b so you can look at the question you will want to attempt it of your own first then look at the solution simple as it looks option b looks right 380 millimeter of mercury option b is right we will want to move to question 3 which is based upon graham's law of diffusion now we have already solved this question so you will want to read it i repeat you will want to try it of your own and then look at the solution the question reads rate of diffusion of a gas is one sixth of the rate of diffusion of hydrogen matlab is gas ka rate of diffusion hydrogen ka one sixth hai is gas ka rate of diffusion hydrogen ka one sixth hai you have to find its molecular weight so very basic application of graham's law of diffusion if the rate of diffusion of this gas is one sixth of that of hydrogen you can say hydrogen diffuses six times faster this means the rate of diffusion of hydrogen I have written the solution here rate of diffusion of hydrogen upon this gas X unknown gas X is 6 is rate 1 6 hai, matlab hydrogen ka rate 6 times hai. and R1 by R2 is root over of M2 by M1 you know the formula is R1 by R2 is equal to root over of M2 by M1 the basic result of Graham's law of diffusion so naturally hydrogen here you will want to keep its molecular weight 2 here and x here you will want to keep its molecular weight mx here do we calculate karna rata, you want to calculate you will want to put it in the in the numerator hydrogen diffusing 6 times faster is equal to root mx upon 2 squaring both sides squaring both sides 36 is equal to mx by 2 and the molecular weight of this unknown gas x is equal to 72 option b looks right i think most of you would have done it right option b is correct we'll move to question four now yet again you will want to read question four it has come in several exams in the past these are very common questions for any engineering medical entrance exams you'll want to read the problem first xml hydrogen diffuses through a hole in five seconds so the time taken by hydrogen is five seconds time taken for the same volume of gas and you have to write you have to tick the right option the different gases and different times given now what's important to understand is the volume is equal see the question reads time taken for same volume time taken for same volume and if it's time taken for same volume if it's time taken for same volume you know if the volume is equal, if the volume is equal, see the formula is V1 by T1 upon V2 by T2 is equal to root over of M2 by M1. Basically, the rate is volume diffused upon time taken. If volume is equal, if volume is equal, if V1 is equal to V2, if V1 is equal to V2, if volume is equal, students generally know this, if volumes are equal, the result is T2 will go in the numerator. T2 by T1 is root over of M2 by M1. Now what I'll do is, I'll find T and the corresponding M for the four options and see which is the right option. I know the time taken is 5 seconds for hydrogen. 5 seconds for hydrogen. Suppose I go after option A. 10 seconds, option A. 10 seconds upon 5 seconds helium hydrogen helium hydrogen helium molecular weight is 4 hydrogen is 2 now this is root 2 and this is 2 this is root 2 and this is 2 so this does not match this, this does not match this is wrong option b 20 seconds for oxygen same volume so for oxygen time taken is 20 for hydrogen it was 5 and naturally the molecular weight of oxygen is 32 hydrogen is 2 now this will match root 16 is 4 root 16 is 4 and this is also 4 so this equality will match 4 is equal to root 16 and option b will be right you can check for the rest of the options but right now i find option b correct 
ऑक्सीजन अपॉन हाइड्रोजन टाइम टेकन इज इक्वल टू मॉलिकुलर वेट रूट ऑफ मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन अपॉन हाइड्रोजन रूट सिक्सटीन इज फोर आई फाइंड ऑप्शन बी राइट आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ यू वुड हैव इट राइट विल मूव टू क्वेश्चन फाइव नो क्वेश्चन फाइव इज अ लिटिल एप्लीकेशन ओरिएंटेड क्वेश्चन फाइव इज अ लिटिल एप्लीकेशन ओरिएंटेड बिकॉज जनरली वेन वी अप्लाई ग्रहम्स ऑफ डिफ्यूजन वी बिलीव दैट द प्रेसर्स आर इक्वल सो वेन जनरली when we write r2 by r1 when we write r1 by r2 as root m2 by m1 this is when the two are diffusing or fusing at the same pressure now when the pressures are different remember when the pressures are different there is a component of p1 p2 naturally the rate of diffusion will be proportional to the pressure so this is when the pressures are equal when the pressures are different r1 by r2 will be equal to root m2 by m1 according to grahams law of diffusion and naturally it will be proportional to the pressure so r1 by r2 will be proportional to p1 by p2 now had the pressures been equal i would have taken r o2 upon r methane i would have taken r o2 upon r methane as root 16 by 32 Naturally, thirty-two for oxygen, sixteen for methane. R one by R two is root M two by M one. Oxygen molecular weight is thirty-two. Methane molecular weight is sixteen. Now the two are a fusing. A fusing का मतलब होता है going going out. Exit. A fuse. It's moving out and it's moving out from a molecular mixture. ये दोनों साथ में है. ये दोनों साथ में है. In the mass ratio three to two. It's a mixture of oxygen and methane. If the mass ratio is three to two, naturally, number of moles will be different and partial pressures will be different. Let's also understand that partial pressure of, if I have to write O two here and methane here, then partial pressures are proportional to the number of moles. So this will be like proportional to N O two upon N methane. When the mass ratio is three to two, suppose oxygen three gram and methane two gram. If our oxygen three gram is for three gram oxygen, number of moles will be three by thirty two, and if methane two gram is, number of moles will be two upon sixteen. Now this has to be understood. They are together in the mixture. They are together in the mixture. Sath me oxygen or methane sath me hai. और दोनों का पार्शियल प्रेशर अलग अलग है सो नेचुरली वेन दे आर रिफ्यूजिंग आउट द रेट ऑफ डिफ्यूजन और रिफ्यूजन विल डिपेंड अपॉन द मॉलिकुलर वेट्स एज वेल एज द पार्शियल प्रेशर एंड बिकॉज द पार्शियल प्रेशर्स आर प्रोपोर्शनल टू द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स थ्री ग्राम टू ग्राम नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ ऑक्सीजन थ्री बाई थर्टी टू नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ पेशर इज टू बाई सिक्सटीन ये थोड़ा सा एप्लीकेशन ओरिएंटेड है यूल हैव टू टेक इन टू अकाउंट the number of moles and the corresponding ratio of pressure the partial pressures will be proportional to the number of moles you know partial pressure is equal to no2 upon total number of moles this is number of moles upon total number of moles so it cancel ho jayega it will be proportional to the number of moles only mass ratio 3 gram 2 gram number of moles nikal liye now naturally you can cancel this 16 32 will get cancelled this will be 3 by 4 This will be three by four. Ye root two aega one upon root two, and eventually ye three by four aega. This will be three upon four root two. I guess most of you would have got it right. This will be three upon four root two. Option B will look right. It will be three upon four root two. Option B will look right, provided along with the molecular weights. Provided along with the molecular weights, you take the partial pressure. So with this option B looks right. We will want to move to question six. Now question six again. You will want to read it first. ATML oxygen takes two minutes. You have to find the volume of sulfur dioxide which passes through the same in three minutes. यहाँ पे volume, time दोनों अलग-अलग हैं. जो calculate करते हैं, उसको generally हम लोग numerator में लेते हैं. So V1 by T1 volume of sulfur dioxide upon time taken three. upon volume of oxygen which is 80 upon time taken 2 would be root over of 
molecular weight of oxygen which is 32 upon molecular weight of sulfur dioxide which is 64 ek line mein solve hota hai v1 by t1 is equal to v2 by t2 v1 by t1 upon v2 by t2 v1 by t1 upon v2 by t2 is equal to root m2 by m1 ye sulfur dioxide is ka molecular weight 64 ye oxygen is ka molecular weight 32 i think most of you would have got it right i think most of you would have got it right the formula is v1 by t1 upon v2 by t2 the rate of diffusion is volume diffused upon time taken v1 by t1 upon v2 by t2 volume or time sab alag alag hai we will want to apply this now what you have to calculate you tend to take it in the numerator now this is 40 14 into 3 14 to 3 is 120 and this is 1 upon root 2 So this is a one-liner, and the volume of sulfur dioxide you will get will be 14 to 3, 120 upon root two. Option A will look right. Option A will look right. 6A is right. 6A is right. With this, believing most of you would have got it right, we'll move to question seven. Now question seven, again you will want to read it first. Question seven. you will want to read the question first it's again a little application oriented you will want to read the question first there is a 10 cm air column trapped by 8 cm mercury column and it's held horizontally Initially, it's held horizontally. The language of the question is very important here. Ten centimeter air column trapped by eight centimeter mercury column is held horizontally at one atmospheric pressure. That goes without saying. It's one atmospheric pressure. Find length of air column when the tube is held vertically with the open end up. Held vertical with open end up, and question is eight is when the tube is held vertical, open end down. Now this is an interesting problem. Now this is the situation to begin with. This is the situation to begin with. You have eight centimeter long mercury column. You have eight centimeter long mercury column, and when it's kept, when it's kept horizontal, ये यहाँ पर बीच में left पे नहीं जा रहा, right पे नहीं जा रहा, यहाँ पे stagnant है. इसका मतलब है यहाँ पर जो pressure है, which is the atmospheric pressure. Now I'll want to write it in terms of mercury because I'm going to use it in terms of mercury. Seventy-six centimeter of mercury. Seventy-six centimeter of mercury. यहाँ पे स्टैगनेंट है यहाँ पे स्टैगनेंट है ये लेफ्ट राइट नहीं जा रहा है इसका मतलब यहाँ पर एयर का प्रेशर भी यहाँ पर एयर का प्रेशर भी 76 सेंटीमीटर मरकरी है नेचुरली एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर इज इक्वल इन ऑल डिरेक्शन सो दिस एंड दिस आर इक्वल दिस एंड दिस आर इक्वल दैट इज वाइट कीपिंग स्टैंड स्टिल एयर इनिशियली दैट सेवेंटी सिक्स सेंटीमीटर मरकरी ये ऐसा है ये ऐसा है ये ट्यूब ऐसा है जब इस ट्यूब को घुमा के जब इस ट्यूब को घुमा के ऐसे कर देंगे जब इस ट्यूब को हॉर्जोंटली घुमा करके वर्टिकल कर देंगे जब इस ट्यूब को हॉर्जोंटली घुमा के वर्टिकल कर देंगे व्हेन यू टेल्ट इट व्हेन यू टेल्ट इट वर्टिकल ओपन एंड अप नेचुरली द मर्करी कॉलम विल स्लाइड डाउन मर्करी कॉलम विल स्लाइड डाउन बिकॉज द प्रेसर विल इंक्रीज नो द प्रेसर हेयर द प्रेसर हेयर over air over the air column the pressure here is because of the atmospheric pressure plus 8 cm of mercury so the pressure air over air here the air column here is 76 plus 8 which is 84 cm of mercury when the tube is turned from horizontal position to vertical position the mercury column will slide down mercury column will slide down this length will be less than the initial length ki shuru mein 10 cm tha now suppose if it is x this x will be less than 10 because now the air 
कॉलम विल बी अंडर मोर प्रेशर अब इसके ऊपर टोटल प्रेशर एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर प्लस मर्करी का है इन टर्म्स ऑफ मर्करी सेवेंटी सिक्स प्लस एट विच इज एटी फोर इफ द ट्यूब इज टर्न वर्टिकल विद द ओपन एंड डाउन दैट इज प्रॉब्लम एट इसको नीचे घुमा दिया ऐसे और अगर ये मर्करी गिर नहीं रहे इफ द मर्करी कॉलम इज नॉट फॉलोइंग डाउन सी वाई इज दिस मर्करी कॉलम नॉट फॉलोइंग डाउन The mercury column is not falling down. ये नीचे नहीं गिर रहा है, because out here the pressure of air plus mercury, the pressure of air plus mercury eight centimeter. ये नीचे गिर नहीं रहा है, because it's balancing the atmospheric pressure which is seventy eight, seventy six. Now if these two together are seventy six, if these two together are seventy six, इसका मतलब यहाँ पे air का pressure is seventy six minus eight. Which is 68 centimeter of mercury. बस इतना ही समझना है. बस इतना ही समझना है. When you turn it vertical with open end up, the mercury column will slide down because air के ऊपर में pressure बढ़ जाएगा. 76, 84 हो जाएगा. When you turn this vertical with open end down, open end down, naturally the length y this time will be more than that of 10. ये वाइट टेन से ज्यादा होगा बिकॉज यहाँ पे प्रेशर कम जाएगा मर्करी नीचे नहीं गिर रहा है क्योंकि एयर और मर्करी का प्रेशर मिला करके इट्स बैलेंस बाय द एटमॉस्फेरिक प्रेशर विच इज सेवेंटी सिक्स टेम्परेचर रिमेनिंग कांस्टेंट फॉर अ गिवन अमाउंट ऑफ गैस यू कैन अप्लाई पी वन वी वन इज इक्वल टू पी टू वी टू इज इक्वल टू पी थ्री वी थ्री एंड वॉट नीड्स टू बी अंडरस्टूड वॉट नीड्स टू बी अंडरस्टूड इज वॉट नीड्स टू बी अंडरस्टूड इज इनिशियल प्रेशर वॉज सेवेंटी सिक्स कंडीशन टू द प्रेशर इज एटी फोर Condition three, these two together add to seventy six. So condition three, P three sixty eight. If the cross sectional area, if the cross sectional area of the tube is a centimeter square, volume is ten a to begin with. Seventy six into ten a. Then the pressure is eighty four and the length is x. Volume will be x a. Now the pressure is sixty eight and it is equal to y a. One liner, one liner. You will be able to solve both the questions. One liner, you will be able to solve both the questions. You'll get x is equal to 760 by 84, and y is equal to 760 by 68. So I think most of you would understand this after realizing that the pressure initially 76 increases to 84. When it's turned from a horizontal to a vertical position, open end up, and decreases to 68. When it's turned from horizontal to vertical with open end down. Now this, I guess, will be close to nine, and this will be close to 11.2. In that case, ये nine, ये ten से कम होगा, ये ten से ज़्यादा होगा, ये इसको calculate करने से this length will be 9.05. I think some of you would have got it right. Open end up, open end up. ओपन एंड अप ये जो लेंथ होगा एयर का अंडर हाई प्रेशर विल बी नाइन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव एंड ओपन एंड डाउन इट विल बी इलेवन पॉइंट वन एट और इलेवन पॉइंट टू सो आई थिंक सम ऑफ यू वुड हैव गॉट इट राइट ए एंड सी आर द राइट आंसर्स फॉर क्वेश्चन सेवन एंड एट क्वेश्चन नाइन इज गोइंग टू बी द लास्ट क्वेश्चन विल सॉल्व टूडे अगेन यू विल गोइंग टू रीड क्वेश्चन नाइन You will want to read the options. A bubble of air at bottom of lake at depth d meter rises to the surface. Volume becomes four times. Now, naturally, below water surface, below water surface. I mean, you need to know this. If there is a bubble of air, if there is a bubble of air. Suppose at depth d, if this is d meters, if this is d meters, then the pressure here, the pressure here, is equal to atmospheric pressure plus the pressure due to d meters of water. Naturally, if the volume is v here, ये pressure ज़्यादा है, ये जब surface पे जाएगा तो ये volume v की जगह, ये volume four v हो जाता है. सरफेस पे ये प्रेशर कम हो जाता है फोर भी हो जाता है वॉल्यूम बढ़ जाता है बिकॉज हेयर द प्रेशर इज एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर ओनली 
सरफेस पे इट्स एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर एट अ डेप्थ डी इट्स एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर प्लस डी मीटर ऑफ वाटर द प्रॉब्लम इज सिंपल बिकॉज दे टेल यू इट बिकम्स फोर टाइम्स ऑन द सरफेस दे आल्सो टेल यू एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर इज टेन मीटर वाटर यहाँ पे वाटर और मरकरी को कंपेयर नहीं करना है एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर को वाटर का टेन मीटर के बराबर बता दिए विच मीन्स इफ द वॉल्यूम हेयर इज वी देन द प्रेशर एटमोस्फेरिक इज टेन प्लस डी इन टर्म्स ऑफ वाटर सो दिस इज पी वन वी वन इज इक्वल टू एट द सरफेस इट्स टेन फोर वी पी वन वी वन इज इक्वल टू पी टू वी टू पी वन वी वन इज इक्वल टू पी टू वी टू एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू टेन इन टर्म्स ऑफ वाटर नाउ इट्स टेन प्लस डी एट अ डेप्थ डी पी वन वी वन इज इक्वल टू पी टू वी टू इट्स अ सिंपल प्रॉब्लम when atmospheric pressure is given in terms of water column p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 one liner you will get 10 plus d is equal to 4 and d is equal to you will get 10 plus d is equal to 40 and d is equal to 30 <coughs> you will get 10 plus d is equal to 40 and d is equal to 30 so i think again most of you would have got it right option c 30 meter looks right with this we come to the end of the video solution of this set of questions we'll be solving next questions next set of questions in the next class this much for the time being thank you so much